Hey everyone, hope you're doing great. Today I wanted to go over the topic of why we have group classes here at the Jerry Evans School of Music uh, once a semester. And, you know, recently we had some parents ask, hey, you know, what are group classes? How do they work? You know, what are the benefits? What can my student get out of them? And I want to go ahead and go through those things, you know, right now. So first off, just a group class at the Jerry Evans School of Music is held once a semester. It's usually about an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, and uh, it's usually in, with the students of your instrument grouping or with your specific teacher. And what you're going to do is we're going to learn something a little bit more unique, a little bit more out of the ordinary, something that might be a little bit more interesting or different than what you might do in a private one-on-one -on -one lesson. And it's going to be a place where you can make some new connections, learn from the other students that are in the class, and get envisioned and inspired of maybe some different things that you can learn on the instrument that you weren't aware of just from your private lessons. And so we try to make them a little bit different and more unique. And uh, you know we really enjoy that. And so uh, I'm going to give you a few examples of what a group class can look like. So first off, you know my most recent bass guitar group class um, it was a lot of fun. We ended up getting together and I went through about 12 different styles of music and how a bass player will play bass lines in each one of those styles and how they approach it philosophically and how they think about it. And so all of a sudden the bass guitar students got a chance to see, wow, here's all these different ways where a bass guitarist will play bass lines and play music on the bass guitar that is totally different and a total uh, it can really be a totally different way of thinking uh, for these students and inspired some students it helped them hear some styles they hadn't heard before and it really took the worldview from kind of here all the way out here to help them uh, see all the different things they can learn and all the fun things they can do on bass guitar so that was a lot of fun I really enjoyed that class another example was uh, where you know one of our teachers decided to do a little bit of the history of the specific instrument grouping to give students a better idea of where things came from and how they can better uh, apply some of the history of their instrument to how they play today. And that was a really helpful thing for them. Another teacher, uh, our strings teacher, our violin and viola teacher decided to get his students together and go ahead and teach them a little bit of conducting. And you might think, why would they learn conducting? Well, here's the reason why. It's because if you're playing violin and viola, you're probably going to be playing in an orchestra or you most likely are playing in an orchestra. And an orchestra is conducted by a conductor. And so the better you understand conducting and the more you understand the different movements and signals that a conductor will give, the better you can play with the interpretation that the conductor is wanting. So what it does is it makes you a better musician. You're a better uh, asset to the orchestra as well as it's probably more likely that you know you're gonna play at a higher chair so instead of playing in tenth chair maybe you're playing in fifth chair or maybe instead of playing in fourth chair maybe you're playing in second chair or first chair because you better understand how to follow what the conductor is trying to go after so that was an interesting and fun class uh, that uh, our, our teacher gave. And so there's other opportunity or other options and other things that happen in group classes, but those are uh, just a few ideas. Uh, as well as sometimes we'll bring in other people outside the school, uh, other masters per se, to give a master class on a specific subject, and that can be a lot of fun. Uh, and so then, now the question then you know comes like, what, other than those cool topics and those things I just mentioned, what are the benefits and what can students really uh, get out of it? And so first off, the thing I want to let you know is that students... Uh, when they're in a group, they don't just learn with each other, but they actually learn from each other. They actually get things uh, out of a class because they're with other students in a class. You know, uh, learning a topic from a, you know, a, a book or a YouTube video is not the same experience and not the same educational value of actually as it is learning with a group of students and learning with them and from them. You actually can get more out of it when you're in that group. And so here's a couple of examples. So let's say student number one asks a question on a particular topic. The instructor answers that and goes over, over a few things regarding that. Well, student number two didn't even think about that question. But once they heard the question, they go, oh, that's interesting. I want to know about that. And they get inspired and they learn some new things and maybe that sets them on a trajectory to go ahead and learn uh, some new areas of the instrument that they never thought of. You know, another example is this, and here's a big example, I love this one, uh, is where uh, I remember I had a student that I was teaching and communicated a concept to uh, that they should apply uh, for maybe a year or two. I mean, over and over and over again, I was saying, hey, you need to do this. You need to do this, you gotta do this. But they really weren't applying it. And it wasn't that they couldn't, it's just they really weren't just making it happen and just choosing to go ahead and do that, even though I was communicating that to them. Then one time we had a makeup lesson with a few students, we had a makeup group class and brought them all together. And you know some of the students were playing for each other. We were going around the room doing, doing different things, having a, a good a lesson there. But one of the students had, uh, you know, had the same critique. I had the same critique for them that I had for this 
other student I'd been talking to about this topic for a year or two, and they heard the critique, they understood it, and that same student looked at them, heard what happened, and literally after one or two years of me saying, hey, you gotta make this change, it finally clicked and they did it. What happened? They literally learned from the other student who got the same critique. That was it. And so it, it isn't rocket science, it isn't really complex, but it's the reality of when students are together, things click, people get connections and they understand things and they also apply things uh, in ways they may have not applied if they're just in that one-on-one -on -one, uh, lesson setting, which of course is really important. Uh, and so a few final things before we wrap up, you know, uh, obviously, you know, uh, group classes are very, very important, uh, not only, you know, to us, but also in other educational settings, colleges, for instance, you know, you'll take one-on-one -on -one private lessons on an instrument, but still, periodically, you'll get together for master classes or group classes to go ahead and continue to further your understanding on something. You know, also, uh, there are other educational models that are based upon students learning from each other uh, in different age groups. And so, for us, you know, we find that, and we found that, hey, students can still learn from each other even if they're in a different age level or different age group. Now, sometimes we melt, we, excuse me, we may separate age groups, you know, younger kids here, older kids here. Uh, sometimes we do that, but it, in the end, you know, we found that, you know, educationally and, and others have found that, hey, you can learn things from people younger than you and older than you as well. And so all that being said, if you have any questions about group classes or if there's anything I can help you with, uh, reach out to our office. I'm happy to talk with you. Otherwise, have a great day and God bless.